everyone welcome back to my youtube channel my name is adora ogechuku okay so i'm a content creator based in bayelsa state i talk about lifestyle marriage and faith so today's topic in our relationship series is six reasons why you should not have sex before marriage now the first point is a lot of people have STDs that is sexually transmitted disease now STDs are not written on the forehead nobody carries placard of I have it I have these I have that so you don't even know these things about people even though you you're like intimate with someone like you say this one is my friend this one is my friend you don't know their their medical history so please don't gamble with your life and have sex before marriage it's not necessary so the second point is your sexuality or your your how do they i don't know how to say it um it's a way to you not having sex before marriage is a way to you know preserve yourself and probably gift yourself to your husband uh, like after marriage your husband or your wife do you understand like a gift kind of you're giving him your body fresh and all that <laughs> and all that do you understand okay so the third one is um sorry i wrote it down the third one is you always be tempted to compare yourself to compare your spouse with the people that you have been with yes you know research has, has shown that you know 50 percent of marriages are failed because people had multiple partners while they were still very young so it's very important to preserve yourself so that um you would not get to that point where you're comparing mm, if it was that guy that time he would give it to me hot hot if it was that girl that time she would turn me like this and give me like this and give me like this you know you don't need all those kind of things so the next one is abstinence produces patience in marriage mm -mm. abstinence produces patience now if you're patient enough to wait till marriage that you know patience it will make you it will make you have self-control patience is a very good virtue even in marriage and you know before marriage now when you abstain and you get into marriage even when your partner says i don't want or maybe i'm not in the mood you can be able to control yourself and wait till he or she is in the mood now take for instance um, you gave birth and your spouse is this type that does not have self-control This will just cheat on you. You understand? But if you have self-control like you control yourself while you are single When your wife or your partner they are going through things and they say please oh, I'm not interested like it just puts you in check like okay I'll have patience with you. Do you understand what I'm saying? So it brings out you know that virtue called patience so the next one is sex does not solve your problems it actually magnifies the problem a lot of people think that they can solve depression uh, problems through sex when you have a uh, sex you solve depression problem see it will not go it will still be there when you finish that five minutes boom, 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 it will come back again sex does not solve your problem i'm telling you the whole truth a lot of people will just say hey, let me go and do it it will not solve your problem if it will not solve your problem at all at all so the next point is the guilt um, um sex is not um what do i call it a lot of people the guilt of what they have done in the past now makes them feel that i'll keep doing it i'll keep doing it i'll keep doing it. do you understand like if you have had sex in the past like the blood of jesus is enough to wash you like repent from it repent from it then ask the Lord to help you, you know, not to have sex again. You know, there's something having sex does to your relationship with God. You know, there's a scripture that Pastor David Ogwele actually read. Um, 
Matthew chapter 7 verse 6 it says give not that which is holy unto dogs neither cast ye your pearls before swine lest they trample then under the, under their feet and turn again and rend you your body is something precious your body is something very holy your your body is something precious to god so when you have sex it's like contaminating that temple which god dwells in we are the temple of god so when you have sex before marriage you are defiling god's temple so it's very important that you keep yourself so that your relationship with god will be very intact so these are the main reasons why you should not have sex before marriage if you understood this series it's very important to subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell god bless you